Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make the wire swivels for the fox snares that I use. Starting off here with two pieces of wire, they're about 10 inches, anywhere from 8 to 10 inches is good enough. It's off old sheep wire. I just have uh, to speed things up. I have the bits taken off it already. A little piece of pipe here, inch pipe, as you can see, if a slot cut out on one side of it. I have a bar that goes through from back to the front. Okay, and that's going to act as my uh, center piece where the wire will get threaded through and the wire gets fed into it. Piece here goes in the chuck of the drill. All I simply do is take the wire, put it behind that post, bend it in half. What you want to do then is bring one over the top of the stem and one underneath. Put the drill onto the wire. Just hold it at the rear. Start it off nice and easy. Set on chuck. Keep pressure. And wind itself in. Pull it back. Try not to go too hard so I don't shake the camera too much. There you have one half of your swivel. It likes these little bits here, the burrs on them. All I simply do is put them on the grinding wheel at the other end of the bench here, just out of camera shot. And it grinds them down flush. And then to simply make a joint swivel, put the stem back in. And that's where this slot on the far side comes in handy. You just seat the swivel in just down below. So what it looks like is something similar to that. Okay, so it's below or center away on the, the post, but it's not protruding through the post, if you get me. So it's just down, the seats in there. So you take your piece of wire. Again, bend it in half, coming around the back, so we're in through here, so I'm feeding the wire in, feed it in, that's it, come one over, one below, tighten it up, again, drill onto it, a bit of pressure to the rear, nice and slow to start, and just keep it in place, spin it out. There you go. There we have our joint swivel. Handy way to use up some old wire that's around the place. What I will say is that's two mil, so you wouldn't want to go any heavier than that, or even the drill will really struggle with it, and the wire won't tighten in properly on itself. She likes a high tensile wire, um, wouldn't be too good for it because you wouldn't get the nice tight concentric turns in it. What I'll do now is I'll rub these through. The bench grinder, so bear with me here. Here we have finished off. When you put the wire off your, your snare on, just use this piece as an example here. Just thread it through, put your two washers on, or one washer, whatever you prefer to use, then use your end stop, pull it down, that's flush. I love these swivels, big ring on them there. No matter what angle the snare goes at, it's an, it enables it to, to turn. And that's why I like these, and they will last a long, long, long time. And they won't bend either with that two mil wire. They won't bend out of shape. If you use um, a lesser gauge wire, once the strain comes on them, they'll start going from this round shape into a more pointed shape. Um, I don't find them as effective, so you're better off using a good quality wire. But it's like that old sheep wire that's lying about there. It's perfect for the job. You make hundreds of snares, hundreds of snares out of any old sheep wire. Cheers, guys.